Well, I want to thank you both for agreeing to this sit down. And this is very sensitive time for all parties concerned. But surely it's better that we talk things out now than shoot them out later. In case you didn't notice, the shooting's already started. As I was saying, emotions are running awful high right now. But nobody wants a full-scale war. Yeah, nobody without enough guns, anyway. I came here to listen to Boyd Crowder, not you. Your point is taken, Doyle. You minutes are many. We are few. But I think we both can agree that bloodletting is bad for business. You gonna talk about business, huh? Yeah, Mags, I do. All right, then. Aside from money, what is business but contracts and agreements? Now, you and me, we had an agreement. I gave up my family's claim on this county, but for one thing, the pot business. That is true, Mags, but then your son Dickie approached you. You didn't shake hands. hands with Dickie, you shook hands with me. We had a deal and you broke it. What is it? The money we took from Dickie. Every single dollar. Well, now, I'd say that's a step in the right direction. What the hell are you doing? Not staying in that cellar. Smells like moldy death down there. Hey, well, Boyd said you gotta... I know what he said. You're watching the front. I'm gonna keep an eye out back. Make some coffee while I'm at it. Fresh black coffee? You hear from Johnny? Yeah. He's at his house. Strikes me that this little deal of ours may not be enough for you. Oh, it's enough for now. When it's just you, Arlo, the cripple, and the other fella. But one of these days, you're gonna want more. And we both know when that day comes, you will take more. Crowder, 